The operative standards for cancer surgery manuals address the critical elements of an operation. And the reason that we initiated that project several years ago was because we recognized the need for standardization of intraoperative techniques that impact cancer outcomes. Dr. Heidi Nelson, as the, the uh, original director of the American College of Surgeons Clinical Research Program, in collaboration with the Alliance for Clinical Trials in Oncology, developed a committee called Cancer Care Standards Development Committee. And this committee was tasked with trying to standardize how we record operative interventions for clinical trials. And that in doing that, we recognized that there was a big opportunity to standardize the operative documentation for many other situations as well beyond clinical trials. And because we know that many of the things that we do during an operation do have impact on patients' quality of life, survival, recurrence, and so many other important issues related to cancer care. The Cancer Surgery Standards Program, I think, is a really great addition to the American College of Surgeons cancer programs, and in that it'll allow us to go beyond what we do in the cancer research program, which is more research efforts behind developing standards, clinical trials, and so on, to extending this into implementation into the general community. And so the, the development of synoptic operative reports and other tools, not only the development of them, but also the implementation, education, so on. It goes so much further beyond just doing the research behind the critical elements of an operation. One of the things that we want to do is to help surgeons, registrars, other educators, and so on, be able to communicate in a way that is more standardized across different settings. And so Right now, we have many different ways that we communicate about what occurs during an operative intervention. And so one of the things we really want to do is create an opportunity for everyone to communicate effectively in a way that when you read an operative note, you understand those critical elements that were performed, how they were performed, and whether or not they were performed because in some situations, depending on the, the type of patient, the type of encounter, you might not be able to complete those critical elements of an operation. And so really, I think making sure that we're all communicating in a way that we understand so that one surgeon can read another surgeon's operative note and really understand what happened during the operation and what challenges may have occurred, and then also helping us to educate the next generation of surgeons in terms of what are the critical elements of an operation.